Hello everyone, I'm Baradactyl and welcome back to Haunted PS1's Demo Disc Spectral Mall Edition. Let me make sure I'll, I started off over here, so I'm assuming I have everything I picked up, meaning we can um leave this back rooms like hell and... actually go on with some new games. So I wonder what three we're going to pick this time. We're going to go to the bathroom. We're going to go through the vent. Because, you know, I have no sense of self-progression. Not self -pre No sense of self-preservation. That's the word. Oh, there's blood in the vent. Okay. Because of course there is. Oh, God. Oh. I don't know why I'm collecting quarters. But I guess we'll find out. Okay, where'd the food go? Oh. Skeleport energy. A hundred dollars a can. Okay, never mind. Three, four. One, how'd the crowbar even fit in there? And two, is that claw even strong enough to, you know, get a hold of it? Oh. Cheapskate pizza. Hope no one near tryptophobia. Oh. More puzzle solving. Don't mind if I do. I actually really like that there's actually a puzzle solving like thing here. Let's grab the bolt cutters. I have another quarter. Just want to walk around to see if there's anything up here, then, um, well. Make our way through. There's the spectral arcade. But over here yonder, there are three other games. Fear the Spotlight, Perlin Festival, and Reunited. I want to see what's behind the arcade door since the first thing I saw when I came up here. So that's what we're going to do. And well, from here, we'll see where it goes. Yeah, I can't open that with a quarter. Oops. Well, I probably could with enough gumption, but, um, why did I grab the crowbar? I am very bad at this. Let's go to the arcade. I saw that. This reminds me of the arcade from Hypnagosia. A whole dollar? What year is this? Two, three, four. I'm guessing this is one of the secret games, so launch demo. No? Arcade? Whoa. Free play forever. It only costs your soul. Flashing effects, the hardest arcade this side of reality. Oh, you see it. Flashing effects, everyone. That's your warning. And away we go. My eye, oh dear God. I do take the music though. Collecting tickets. Ah. 
Hi, you're from Madvent. Interesting. Also, one second, you're going to see a bear for a short period of time. <laughs> We're good, we're back. Just gonna collect all these tickets. Alright, and let's go talk to her because you're the most interesting person here. It's Bidey. Oh, hey, fancy seeing you here. You're looking a little hollow. Wasn't this one of those foreign horror films that got a domestic remake? Those were usually terrible. This one in particular. Super Asteroids. Doc Gobbler? Or, you know, Pac-Man. Hello. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Sonya. I take it you're the new victim of the arcade. Your flesh remains unaltered by the weird energy here. Dead giveaway. Are you the present? Score! High! Tick! It's for you! Don't talk to me. I'm mad. Seriously. I'll eat you, kid. Why am I angry? Can be that my machine was the most popular in this arcade? But then it broke down from being too awesome. Been waiting for the repair guy to show up for 20 years. And I'm starting to get the feeling he isn't coming. Your cell fell behind the prize counter? Oh my, those things aren't cheap. You'll probably need a lot of tickets to get it back. I've got some I could spare, but I can't just give them to you. What fun would that be? Beat my high score of super asteroids and they're all yours. Unfortunately, this place has claimed many souls. Mine included, but perhaps I could help. I've grown complacent. If you manage to beat my score, give me something to strive for. I'll show you what I have. Take it to know I don't have any of those. But I didn't know a secret that'll help you. Of course, I can't just tell you what it is. If everyone knew, I wouldn't be as high on the scoreboard as I am. Be my high score and I won't have any reason not to tell you. You're very interesting. Lost your soul? Join the club, pal. I'm not your friend. Oh, there's the bird, Dory, I think. There's the ghost, I forget their name. Bone hurting juice. God damn it, memes. Oh, it's, um, what is his name? Peeb, I think? Mama, need something? Yeah, no, don't need any of this. I just want my soul. Haunty, that's it. 500,000, hmm. I could just clean the Typhoon machine or I could drink it. I'm so th This is very involved for what it is. How's the quest for your soul going? If you want tickets really fast, you should buy some prizes. They increase your ticket multiplier. Oh. Do they now? Let's see. I have 7,000. So we'll grab the forbidden candy. It's a colorable ball. Very chewy. Oh, I get it. Oh, that's the dinky little memory card. That's cool. And I'll grab that. Can I back up? There we go. No, I can't just give you a soul for nothing. Against the rules. I'll punch you in the dick. This is actually really fucking cool. I ain't got no tickets, but I know a little trick that can help you get more. Use your shields, right? Don't you get to ever beat my score without them. Plus, my trick ain't gonna help you if you don't. The tickets in here seem to respawn. 
I got a pretty good score, didn't I? Probably could have gotten a better one if I remember to use shields. If you use those shields, you'll probably take me out easy. It's quite a challenge, I know. I won't hold it against you if you manage to reclaim your soul without my tickets. Having trouble? Ask a Super Asteroid sucks. Garbage game. Took me ages to get past level 1. Got any cool prizes? Show them off. You can pull them out by pressing tab on the north button on any gamepad. Alright. Why are there tickets in the air? Okay. This place smells of delicious pizza. Well, at least there's a familiar face here. Don't know why everyone keeps telling me to use shields. I already do, but they drain fast. It's stupid. My game didn't need a bunch of useless buttons to be good. Somebody salty. Tell you what, if you can best me super asteroids, I will gift you some tickets to help. Okay. Well, I've already got a lot of tickets. I've just been running around picking stuff up. How fast do those respawn? Very fast. And yeah, I do plan on playing the game. No worries. Just want to buy some stuff first. Okay. I think they're done respawning because there's no new... No, there's new audio. So every time I talk to someone, they pop up. I've stated my terms. Unless you wish to purchase an item, I have nothing left to say. Um, okay. I guess I don't have a choice but to play now. Aha, or do I? Alrighty. I'm curious, like, sorry if I'm wasting everyone's time. I'm just like, ooh, free tickets. Ooh, free tickets. The button's stuck from a fine layer of soda covering the machine. I used to be really fucking good at that. I banned at an arcade for it. Okay, let's play Super Asteroids. Press fire to start. Um. Left mouse button, right mouse button. Okay. Oh, it's actual asteroids. Well, this is interesting. Oh, God. Good thing they told me how to use shields. Did I mention I'm god-fucking-awful at asteroids? I always kind of have been, you know? Yeah, I'm just gonna grab you, delete you. How am I supposed to def myself, defend myself against that? Okay, cool. I am very bad at asteroids. Very fucking bad. But yeah, I'm going to speed this along. I'll be right back because watching me play Asteroids is probably the most boring thing you could do. Heck yeah, I knew you could do it. It's not a lot, but I hope it helps. Thank you. Alright, so I have... 30,000 tickets, so I can buy for 30,000. Let's just double my ticket output. Buy those. Cool. Eight times ticket multiplier. Oh, I have that stupid charm on my face. That's, that's actually kind of annoying. To be completely fair. So, did you buy anything cool with those tickets I gave you? Oh, right! You were trying to buy your soul! Don't be afraid to treat yourself to smaller items first. I'll increase your ticket multiplier, earn your tickets back even faster. This is actually really fucking cool. 
me run around, grab these tickets, and we'll go right back to Asteroids, so yeah. Be right back. We're back and um I got a decent score. I don't think I'm beating the top score though. Hey, how you liking it down here? I think it's a lovely place to visit, but I wouldn't want to get stuck here for eternity. Good job. What? Whatever. Here's how to get an extra life to start. Oh, they give me more stuff the more well I do. Okay. That makes a lot of sense, actually. I love seeing that ticket counter go up. Nice, you did good, kid. Here's how to get an extra second of shield. Oh. So, um, I'm literally in hell. I should stay inside. I reduce to nothing but bone if I leave this way, though. There are worse fates than becoming a skeleton. I probably get drafted into the skeleton war. Can y'all stop with the fucking memes? Hmm. Well, I have eighty-seven thousand. Clean the typhoon machine, or drink it. I'm thirsty. Oh god. Okay, so two hundred eighty. I'll take that. <laughs> Just kind of sticks there in my. The fact that I'm getting all these prizes has a trick working out for you. It's a lot of fun to boost forward with it. You should becoming a wrecking ball in space. Dry, dry, dry. Give me the... Oh! Sis. Used to have a perfect score on my machine. That one was still working. You'd never have had my secrets. It's a shame there aren't more games to play, but old machines like these are bound to break down. They need regular maintenance, which is hard to come by down here. My name is Rex, but I mutated into a Stegosaurus. I think it's part of my punishment. I'll make it work, though. Dinosaurs are cool. I'm cool. You're Jan. Alright. 
So we're just going to sit here and do this. I'll be right back. There we go. There's no point in me being right back because I... I literally won the grand prize already. <laughs> Can I leave? That brainy girl over there? Oh gosh. She's an absolute snack. You think she'd let... No, never mind. It's silly. You're a brain-eating zombie. Good to know. Management telling me I can't smoke inside anymore. This place has gone to hell. Earn that score through blood, sweat, and tears. So many tears. Yeah, I'm not playing Pac-Man. Oh, needs a new seat. I get it. Yeah, those are hard to come by now, but yeah, I am... Um... Gonna grab my soul. I need some hopes of not being stuck here. There we go. Yeah, that's um That's still pretty bad. So hot I'm melting. I can't breathe. So, okay. I want this to end. Help me. It was an accident. Well, I have my soul, so, um... Directed by Vladimir Lor and Vladimir, Vladimir Lor. At Vladimir Lor. Okay. That was really fucking cool. I'm giving that like an 11 out of 10. Gate carpet. Yeah, these are all the credits. Tori, Peeb... There's a skull easter egg? Feel bad that I missed it. Raccoon head, social coin, peeb. And you. I may go back through all these later and, um, look for all the easter eggs and stuff, you know, maybe on a stream or something? But yeah. Arcade done. I love the 90s floor and stuff. Oh, Scully's on the floor. Okay, that makes sense. Well, we've completed that. Um, one second. Let me see how long that actually took. All right, so that took about as long as a regular game. So we're going to do two. And then we'll pick back up, um, well, with the next episode. I didn't expect this many demos, so um, I think what we're going to do is after Eek Week, we're just going to break this up and put this on um, Fridays. And just do this on Fridays. Sound good? Sound good. Because I know some people miss the other series I do. So, let's pick a game. Let's do... Oh, wait, no. This is Be Knighted. Okay. Let's do Be Knighted. Let's get that N64 vibe going, you know? Bugs, that is your trigger warning. The tragedy destroys your hive if be is stranded and hunters trapped during an intense thunderstorm. Meet friends and foes, discover treasures and traps, and traverse the dangerous caverns in this adventure. Okay, she's very, um... Very anime. But let's dive in. Beyond the gutter walls of the marble spire's lofty to keep Nelder wood waxes upon an earthen throne. Bearing a spiked crown atop a leafy brow, and drinking of the rivers tainted by aeons of strife. It's an age of untamed wildness, of danger and discovery. Oh, an actual opening cutscene. I did not expect that. Apologies for the noises you're about to hear. I had to adjust my seating a bit. So, what's going on here? 
But I might do the arcade again just to complete it in the future. I mean, don't get me wrong. I understand caution with a beehive, but... This seems a wee bit... Never mind, it's not a beehive. Not a cyclops with a pig. No, just a monster with a pig. Okay. I'm going to call you Bunga. I don't know why. Well, because you're very caveman-like. Pew! All right, so he makes Chewbacca noises. Why would you use a beehive as a weapon? You're all fucking dead. Run along, portly man. Well, he fell into a spike trap and fucking died. So what now? Sometime later. So I take it I'm the only survivor? I am. Now this is straight up in 64. So I am a queen bee. All right. This is very Zelda like. Fucking them of be knighted. Here are a few actions you can form to get started. Short time, space bar. Wow, let me grab a controller for this. So, why? Okay. Okay. So, why is the jump button? What was my button? Um, pressing space bar. Ear A, okay. There we go. Don't have a jump button, I just have that glide. All right, here we go. Cool. Glad this game has a functioning rotational camera. Because don't get me wrong, as much as I enjoyed the whole Nintendo 64 era, that was something that aged like milk. All right, in the door we go. Chamber of Conquest. Gaze in wonder at the spoils of conflict, garnered by bugbear ant monarchs of old. But be wary of the toothworms. The bee can walk quietly by holding shift or left trigger, and climbs in surfaces by interacting with them. Give me a sword. Oh, I can eat shit at you. Cool. Let me just, um, boop. Alright, cool. So I can murder things. Good to know. Boop. And looks like anything I pick up heals me, so... That's very good. I am a very bad bee. Like, I should be able to just jump up and fly around, but no. Most queen bees can't. I'm not a beekeeper, so I can't say for sure. 
Can't really fight you. Yeah, I know. Boop. All right, so where to now? I think I'm gonna go here. Take him. My chances. All right, jumped right past. All right. Boop. Oh no, these are honey. Okay, the honey's what heals me, not the other stuff. Okay. Ignore my earlier comments. I was just being a dumbass. Oh. Cool, but what's the point in that? I guess if I fall, it makes sense. Okay. See, this is the kind of stuff I'm actually good at. Don't know the point of this stuff yet. But I'm just gonna keep collecting. This music reminds me of, um... Very old classic Zelda. Like, Link to the Past. Old Zelda, not quite Nintendo 64, Ocarina of Time and stuff. Ah! Thankfully, following the real insect world, I don't take damage when falling. Good to know. Climb, climb, climb. Boop! Keep hitting wrong button. A would be a more intuitive jump button than Y. Got they have the Xbox controller in mind. Don't get me wrong, yeah, PS1, all that, but um... I just prefer the ergonomics of the Xbox controller more. Oh. Oh god. I have a feeling if I fall here, I'm fucking dead, so yeah. Just gonna platform my queen bee ass. My very anime queen bee ass. I will say, this is probably one of the most responsive games I've played so far. Off of the entire demo disc. Do the raindrops hurt me, or are they just cosmetic stuff? Alrighty then. Cool. Boop. Don't know if they expected me to take damage from that or not. I feel like they're expecting me to take a lot more damage than that than I do. The fuck are you? You're just kind of here, aren't you, buddy? Oh, outcast aspirin. Who's there? Stay away, lest this foul curse seduce you as well. Oh, to have all aspirations dashed to the enfeebling spores. Oh, you've been taken over by one of those fungus. These respawn, don't they? Interesting. Don't do it there. Oh god. Let me just um 
deal with you. Woo! A little faster when I do that. I missed. I missed so fucking badly. Boop! Why would I not challenge you to the death? Come on, I know you're over here. Boop! Let me just speed along after taking a risk I probably should not have taken. But I am a violent queen, not a peaceful one. Why would I let you live? They make me a tyrant. Probably. It is now safe to fall down here. Oh, this game can use a little bit of quality of life, though, with, like, getting past things faster. But that's about it. All right, so I guess I'm going to go this way. Boop. Yes. All right. Yeah, this is pretty much straight up Legend of Zelda. Right down to dungeon design, it feels like. So why do you exist? Oh, okay. I missed. I missed bad. All right, so. Gotcha. Grab you. Move over here. Boop. Okay, I get it. I have to be very fast with this that I'm gathering. All right, so now I've got this out of the way. Where's the third one again? There was supposed to be a third. I'm going to be here for a while. I'll be right back. like I need an upgrade to be able to get through there. Because I'm not sure what I was doing wrong. Hmm. Alright. Can I carry things and fly at the same time? I cannot. Lovely. All right. Oh, wait, I'm down here. I feel like the Rafflesia should be, like, killing me. You know, given that's what Rafflesia does. Or wait, no, it Hi? What's this, a bee? Have you gotten lost? Oh, you, might you be a warrior come to claim the treasure of Queen Antalya? 
passing a worry in you, baby, no matter. I can only claim as such you can find the guarding the stocks, not during the Queen's hunt. Guarding the stocks that I am just kind of wrecking the shit out of. Good to know. So this room is just kind of, I guess, a recovery room. I fell to my death. Uh, I'll be right back until I figure out what to do next. Hi. <laughs> At last, I've made it under the end for dull, but if I could just break free of this troublesome sediment. Oh, B. Ah, hello, Abel. As you can see, Abel, I've gotten myself stuck in a rock and hard place. Could you... There's some blast pods. Could you blast them away? Oh. These seeds explode after a short time. Don't get caught in the blast zone. D-pad. Refill your pods with green shards. Don't mind me. The impact of the blast can't dull the luster of my whiskers. Oh, so I do need item? That makes sense. For your last, now begin planning the heist. Thanks a lot, Abiel. The name is Louis Le Camprioleur. Treasure Connoisseur. I don't know why I went British. Say, what brings it be like you down to these musty old caverns anyway? Oh god, you must be from that hive that was smashed by that troll earlier. What a shame. So much gooey goodness dashed upon the dirt. Tell you what, Abel, I just so happened to be a spot to spy a chunk of your hive land near the bugbear ant fort above us. Trouble is naturally the fort is guarded by ants that don't know the first thing about diplomacy. You have to be careful to get through here unnoticed. And while you do, any distractions you can make will draw their eyes away from my own escapades. You know, it must have been the fate who brought us together. You go on ahead, I'll... Follow through once I finish my plans. So you're a mouse. Good to know. Oh, okay. So the those are my bombs. Good to know. Good to know. So I guess that counts as getting somewhere. Yeah, no. Boop. Boop. Bye-bye. Come on, ant. Not ant. Worm. There we go. Ow. Does that kill you? There we go. Um, this is a very big dungeon. Oh, you had a sapphire gem fruit. Nice. Many creatures accept gem fruits as currency, so line your pockets while you can. Carry five ruby gem fruit. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Right, I'm gonna go back out here since going up there just loops around. And boop. So this is money. We've got to have money. And money we have. Wait, I think that's the one that goes somewhere. Oh, I move so slow. Oh, I can ocarina a time. It good to know. Anything in here? No? Okay. Moving on. So I've befriended a mouse of all things. Boop. Alright, let's go up and, well, do our thing. Boop. Alright, so what happens if I... Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. Cool. Okay, how big of an explosion radius is it? Not big. 
I fucked up again. And we grab these to restock. I can't set more than one bomb, so that's a problem. Okay. I fucked that up again. I have to be very, very fast here. Boop. One, two. God damn, this is... I'll be right back. This is going to take a while. Jelly, click the in total, add another segment to your honeycomb bar. Oh, that was not worth the fucking effort. <laughs> well, now that I have bombs, I can actually progress to other parts of the dungeon, so... Let's go this way. Also, that was very stroke-inducing. I screamed... Oh, no. All right, good to know. Come on. Oh, no. So you do not follow the rule of three. Good to know. Come on. That's why there's so many of those green ones around. Makes sense. Boop. Come on. Pop. Okay, how many of these do you need to take? Can I just, like, beat you to death with these? No, okay. Let me just, um... I would skip past this is a boss fight, so I'd feel bad if I did. I need a more reliable way of not dying. Need more combat. <laughs> Can't sting because that would kill me. And... Boop! Okay, Mushroom Knight down. Well, Foppy, thank you for granting me an honorable end. If it would serve you, take up my blade, Dalton with- Ah, grass blades, not sharp as you would hope. Equip it by pressing the D-pad, or 1, and swing with the attack button. It's not the hallowed hall of ages past. You expect no warrior's welcome. Only warriors farewell should you path see you there. Queen of the colony consorts now ghastly grotesqueries. The ones a mighty stronghold likely crumble in memory soon enough. You behold no duty nor power here in the wall of the ants. Perhaps with a keen mind you may advantage in our weakness to flee this place. Okay, cool. That is actually very fucking clunky. But, I can actually hurt things now, so, um, yeah. I have gotten my sword. My dookie-ass grass sword, but it's a sword. Oh. Getting more Majora's Mask than Ocarina of Time vibes here. Probably because of how, you know, dark it is. Let me just, you know... I am getting in the swing of things, though, so that's nice. Boop. 
Don't need the honey pot over there because, well, I don't. Oh, this is going to be a mistake. It's not. The rear path is cave precisely as ordered, and Ford has enough enemies without that it needs to deal with. But then, what's that? You with your gossamer frame and chipped and tarnished blade passing through? You're soon end up in the trencher for a feast. Technically, I'm royalty, so shouldn't they be showing me respect, even though, you know, I'm not an ant royalty, but... Cool. Boop. Getting bombs first is so weird to me. In a Zelda-like, at least. Let me just, um... Do this Ocarina Time style. Or Oot style, if you want me to be hip and with it. Uh, uh, what? Huh? Okay, cool. So mushrooms can pop up and attack me. Good to know. Are you a warrior or are you an asshole? Oh, you're an asshole. Come on. I really need to, like... Okay, so he auto-blocks, so he's not attackable. Good to know. It's a shame that I can't go to war, but whatever. To climb my queen bee ass up. Oh, you're not going to make me climb the whole ass ladder? Good. Howdy. Bye-bye. So, um... Got a feeling I know what that's for. Never mind, I'm a dumbass. I am a fool. Is that where I came in? That's where I came in. Oh, ignore my stupidity, people. Honestly, if this goes on for longer, I might not have time for a third game. These things are... Like, um... Those little red mites that you see some places in the south? The name of which I can't say because I have a feeling that... Oh. Oh, the rain kills me. A name I can't say because I'm pretty sure YouTube would take it as the wrong word. Starts with a CH. Why do you have steak, mashed potatoes, and fucking... Okay. Gob, 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 gob. Huh? I the huh 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 oh like my goofy derpy ass <laughs> that smiles I just walk back oh my fucking god you're a worker. And you just clubbed me in the fucking head. Bugbear ant guard, it appears Antonio is caught an intruder. A shame, the feast has already begun and the fires are cooling. Best leave the table scraps to her. Antonio, throw this one into the oubliette. Oubliette? Weeblette? How do, whatever you want to call it. I swear to God, if that's the cliffhanger they ended on. Is it, why is there a spider? So you're awake, I see. Looks like they caught you too. Selene the spider. Welcome to Antford Prison. The food's well you. Oh, hey, chill out. I was just a joke. Listen, there's no way out of here. That doesn't lead to a painful death. If the ants don't kill you, starvation of the fungus will. Don't get me wrong. The ants are only keeping me alive to repair their battle gear, though. Who knows how long that will last? Can you make my sword better? Listen, there's just no way of getting out of here in one piece. There's only two ways out, front gate and the donjon, the queen's chambers. It takes a whole team of ants to get that gate open, even when it's pouring rain. Isn't pouring rain. And I shouldn't even mention, but there's no way the queen would let you escape through her room. Hey, if you do manage to make it out, happen to see a spare oubliette king, never mind. 
So you're awake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how do I get out? Why did they not take my blade? Um, I guess I'll drop that there. Huh, so what do I do? Oh, there's a tiny hole. Oh, god damn it. Okay, at least I get an extra life. Good to know. I did not know that the that the mushrooms murder me. Just gonna skip right past. Violence is not the answer. Not a fan of that, but violence is not the answer. That's just how it be sometimes. Oh, thank God. I'll take the bombs. I, I'm not sure if raindrop should actually harm me or not. You know, j j just just an observation. Do I have to clear the room, maybe? Stick, stick, stick. There you are. Give me heart? No, okay. Alright, so that was not the solution. Good to know water does not harm me. So how do I get up? I guess is the magic question. Oh, I know. Oh, come on. I gotta be very fast. Good to know. Good to know. Let me just let this thing rise. And then I'll move to the other one. That's actually very clever. I'm not comfortable doing it, but it's very clever. This game is fucking awesome, by the way. It's like Zelda meets the furry platformer mascots of, like, the 90s. Smack! Um, what do you change? Huh. Do you make those things go boom? Yes, you do! Cool. I'm enjoying myself for- oh, I see what he's for. Boop! Those are very dangerous seeds to be exploding like that. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. gonna like speed my way through you got royal jelly piece one more cool Boop. I'm enjoying this far more than I should be <laughs> hmm. okay I think I know what I gotta do All right, so I gotta jump up and throw it to that one, maybe, perhaps? I could just be a fool. Never, no! Oh, God damn it! All right, 
Lie. God fucking... I don't like Y being the fly button. I don't like it at all. I keep hitting the wrong button because it makes more sense to use A. Ergonomically, A or X, I guess, if you're using a PlayStation controller. But yeah, I'll be right back when I figure this out. after basically what was a stroke later problem has been figured out oh thank god there's a heart I guess a honeycomb it's, ba it's a heart it's a heart just in honeycomb form Okay, now this is just straight up out of fucking Legend of Zelda. Let me watch their routes. Okay, so... This might be a little bit complicated. All I gotta do is get to the door. If I get caught, I'm assuming I'm instantly captured like Legend of Zelda. Alright, let me be fast. What? Okay. Boop! Alright. 
me just skip right past. It's up here. Curiosity killed the bee. <laughs> I have to walk slow. Oh, God. There's something up here I need, though. Funny part is, since they're unarmed, I believe I could deal with them. Technically speaking, I believe I could anyway. Why can't I pick up a shield? Oh, this is going to take forever. I'll be right back, because I'm just going to speed through this mandatory sneaking segment. Okay, that shield falling at that last second pissed me off beyond all belief. Okay. So we've only got one ant this time. That I am going to follow very closely behind. So if he walks past, can he see me here? If he does, I'm going to be pissed because that means I have to be very fast. Okay, cool. We're good. Not a fan of sneaking segments if you haven't figured it out. Oh god. Oh god. Can I blow those up? Yes, I can. I should deal with most of them. Boop! Actually, that dealt with all of them. Lovely. Perfect. Sorry for the silence, I'm just focused a lot on this. Boop. Okay, good to know. Thank everything, a fucking honeycomb. So I don't know if y'all figured out, but the problem is I keep hitting the wrong button. Because the control scheme IMO is not, um, intuitive. Drop honeycombs, please. Thank you. Get around here. Boop. Ideally, that'll kill all of them. The problem is I can't cancel picking up a bomb by using the... So the attack button and the bomb throw button are the same thing. So I can't cancel like I'm used to in other games. Key to the East Tower. Lovely. I'm guessing is this door.
All right, so. Oh, there's a ladder. Cool. The fuck are the other glowworms? Okay. Alright, good to know. Let me just walk on through. Alright, so what do I do now? Do I use bombs? You think I'd grab a better sword? You know? Just to be sure, so I guess I gotta wrap all the way around back. I'll be right back. This is a very, very long game. <laughs>so we've gotten somewhere new fuck and there's more sneaking to do I'll don't get me wrong the sneaking segments in some games are fine but currently as it stands the sneaking, se the sneaking segment's a little bit clunky for my taste at least just look the fuck away. Does he turn toward the other door? Thank everything he fucking does. Alright, so this was just made infinitely easier. Come on, turn the fuck around. Come on. There we go. This is a long-ass first dungeon. Oh, it's you. Brutish Ant Bruiser Antonio. Alright, Antonio, let's fucking go. All right. Ow. Come on. Okay. This is very Zelda-like, and I love it. Come on. Alright, so I have iframes with that dodge I just now learned. And there we go. That was phase one.
Oh god. Oh god. All right. Come on. Okay. Oh. Come on. I'm not sure how to deal with this. Oh. This fight is not very well advertised. Like, I'm not sure how to actually fight him. I'm going to die here because I have no idea how to fucking do this. So I have to hit him from behind, I'm assuming. He's knocked one of those down, so I'm trying to figure out what to do with that is. Alright. I'll be right back when I actually figure out a pattern with him. Alright, I'm back, and I think I figured out how to beat him. I know exactly what to do now. This was... Without having something like Navi to tell me what to do, this is significantly more difficult than I would, like, ever expect or want this to be. But I know how to beat him now. And it's actually pretty easy. Oh... It's just not very well advertised, you know? Come on. Bombs are one way to damage him. But I have to get him to charge. Because if he charges his thorn ball, that happens. Okay, so stage three? Or is he done? Oh, thank God he's done. Oh, my fucking Lord. That fight was like pulling teeth. I almost had a fucking stroke. Oh, my God. It's gonna be a large skip, probably. But, yeah, after this game, we're not doing another. This ain't happening. You got the Brutal Bracers. These gauntlets are imbued with the strength of the ants. Quit the Bracers by D-pad left or three and press the attack button to loose a weighty punch. Ublakey opens the trapdoor house. How many punches does this thing need? Oh, I yeet it out of the way. Okay, that makes more sense. Either way, I'll be right back when I get to the next point. Okay. Okay, so I figured this out. Cool. All right. So there's no, like, actual being right back, I don't think. I think I can just avoid these guys and be done. I would love a honeycomb heart about now. Oh, 
Oh. Speaking of hearts, I'm going to grab these ones. I guess the one. So rain kills me. So I guess I have to figure out how to get between all of these. Okay, ow. So let's see. Guessing it's probably a very bad idea to just dash right across. All right. Oh, God. This isn't this. So I'm going to be blunt. I love this game so far, but there's some some nitpicks I have with it. <laughs> and almost all of them have to do with how. um. Well, there is a layer of jank to this game. So there's like, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, why the jank is there? Is there one, two? Okay. It's very hard to avoid that, and that's why I'm kind of irritated. Apologies for losing my temper over that, but yeah, let's go in and let's just get this over. Let's fight the ant queen. And let's end this demo. So, the hour grows late and the prey steps into the hunter's abode, seeking sanctuary. Fortunately, I hunger no longer, but I cannot speak similar for my beautiful serpent. Be knighted. Okay, so that is the end. I feel kind of, um, what's the word? Blue bald, blue hived. Either way, nitpicks aside, this is probably my favorite game of the entire demo disc so far. So, yeah. But, um... God damn, I don't throw up a bear. But, um, that is absolutely all the time that I have for this particular episode. I did not intend on this taking so long. That game was a lot more involved, so I'm just gonna have to pick a day and, like, either do some Megasodes, or, um, just do a long series. Either way, Eek Week is officially over, technically. We're going to get our Monday and Wednesday stuff back going, just so the channel doesn't stagnate too much. But either way, this will be a continuing Friday thing for the time being. Just, you know, because Dusk, I don't really have many more mods to do. I need to find some more stuff for Dusk to do. And SCP Containment Breach, I'll do it off and on. Just SCP Containment Breach becomes a chore sometimes, as much as I like the game. That's why I'm hesitant to do it. But either way... This is going to be a regular Friday thing for a while. Either way, that is, once more, all the time that I have for this episode. As always, thank each and every one of you for watching. I actually really, really do appreciate it, as I've said before. And of course, if you're enjoying your stay, you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff helps me out. YouTube algorithm, any interaction with the channel, period, helps out, you know. But yeah, either way, this is Baradactyl signing off. And I'll see you all later.